Hi, I'm Drew Moyer, and this is how to solve for domain and range in the quadratic formula. Let's take a look at our function. We're given y equals x squared plus 5x plus 3. The first step in finding the domain and range is actually going to be to graph this function, which I've already done lots of the work for you. And it starts with the quadratic formula, which is x equals negative b plus or minus the big square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So I'm going to plug in my values, which I get negative 5 square root of 25 minus 4 times 3 times 1, which simplifies to negative 5 plus or minus root 13 over 2. And the cool thing about the quadratic formula is once I solve for my x values, that actually gives me the x-intercepts of this parabola, which I should have two. It should cross the x-intercept in two places. And I can see that once I do the math here, I'm going to get negative 0.07 comma 0 and negative 4.3 comma 0. And they correspond to these points right here. Here's negative 4.3 and here's negative 0.7. So now I have the x-intercepts graph. Now I want to find the y-intercept, which is a lot easier. It's just whatever number is tacked on here as the c term in this equation, so positive 3, meaning it hits the y-axis at 0, 3 right there. So now I've got three points. The last point I'm going to need to graph this function is the minimum point, or where the parabola bottoms out. And I find that just by doing negative b over 2a which gets me negative 5 over 2. And I know that that is the x-coordinate of my minimum. And to get the y-coordinate, all I'm going to have to do is plug that back in to the original function for x. So when I do that, I get negative 5 over 2 squared plus 5 times negative 5 over 2 plus 3. And then I get 25 over 4 plus negative 25 over 2 plus 3, which simplifies to 6 and a quarter minus 12 and a half plus 3 which all boils down to negative 3 and a quarter. So that's the y value of my minimum. So again, it's going to be negative 2 and a half, or negative 5 over 2, and then the y value will be negative 3 and 1 fourth. So then once I have those four points, the two x-intercepts, the y-intercept, and the minimum value, I have enough to make good sense of what this parabola looks like. And now I can finally start to think about the domain and the range. So let's look at our domain which is really solving for when are our x values going to be restricted in any way. And you can see that this parabola just keeps getting wider on both sides. It's going to keep getting wider as it goes up, meaning that there's going to be no restrictions on our x's at all, which means the domain is all real numbers, which goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. The range is going to be a little more restricted. We see that we start the function down at negative 3 and a quarter, remember, at the minimum value. And from there, the y's just keep getting bigger. But they're never going to go down below this point. So my range is going to be, with a hard bracket, negative 3 and 1 quarter all the way up to positive infinity with a soft bracket. So, I'm Drew Moyer, and that is how to solve for the domain and range in the quadratic formula.